you about this, but I got a doggy Bjorn. Is that for when she can't walk anymore? I just thought it'd be so fun to like go on a walk with her in my pouch. Well, let's let's find out if that's a good idea or not. I always give people a hard time that have the strollers. Oh, we have one. We have yeah. a stroller. My favorite thing to say is, I'm so sorry about your dog's legs. Yeah. You know, I, I hope they get better. <laughs> dogs want to walk. Yeah. Brad Bevel <laughs> just telling it like it is. He's the owner of Bevel Dog Behavior, and that is Carmen Westcott from the Real Housewives of Dallas with her dog Fancy. Yes, she has named her dog Fancy. I don't know, is there a more suitable name, Brad? Brad is joining us now to talk more about um, his journey with Cameron and Fancy and what we can learn from it as you work to train your dog at home. Good morning, Brad. Good morning, thanks for having me. All right, so is there a more suiting name for Fancy and a more suitable name? I don't think so. You know, her dog before that was named Louis Vuitton, <laughs> so I think Fancy fits perfectly. All right, Prada's coming next. Um, so explain yeah. for us what what the we see what the issue is there you feel like Cameron's enabling the dog not to just be a dog right um, aside right. from that what are some of the issues you've dealt with uh, everything I mean we're you know we're in the behavior business so it's not really sit down stay come heal we deal with a lot of uh, insecure dogs nervous dogs fearful dogs anxious dogs aggressive dogs so uh, anything and everything that uh, humans go through and deal with from a psychological perspective animals do too mm -hmm. and our job is to kind of be a therapist and help bring them back to balance let me ask you is it ever too late not that i'm seeking free advice but i want uh, this is a case study a four-year-old <laughs> too late for you yeah for me four-year-old <laughs> cocker spaniel she now has separation anxiety going out to eat right. big problem tried the crating tried a little benadryl per the vet what do we do to get her to calm down while we're gone for an hour and a half Gotcha. It's never too late. I'll tell you that. Um, I just rehabbed a 11 year old German short haired pointer who was eating through both sides of the drywall to get to the family. Mm. And uh, he's doing unbelievable at home. So it's never too late. Um, but the thing is, we can't s start um, trying to change behavior uh, kind of once it becomes inconvenient for us, we really need to start living with our dogs in a different way. A big part of that is exercise. Mm. A huge part of it is exercise. Drain the gas tank so they have less energy to put into the anxiety. And a therapist would tell a human being the same thing as well. Right. Uh, you know, children anxiety is at all time high. So and seven... therapists are telling parents to get their kids out and get active. So exercise is a huge one. And then the second one is teaching your dog to be independent. The same way we want our children to be able to play in their room by their by themselves or play in their room with their friends uh, without having to, you know, touch a parent or grab the leg. Uh, we want our dogs to be independent. So we've got to start uh, creating some distance in the home even when we're attainable. So that may mean asking your Cocker Spaniel to lay on uh, his or her bed or to be in the crate, but to be away from dad even though he's mm -hmm. attainable. Yeah. Then leaving for dinner becomes easy. Yeah, that, that, that's an important point. I mean, she is sedentary, and I'm wondering if born out of this pandemic, those are issues you're confronting now. People have been home. They've been socializing more and connected more with their pets on a regular basis. Like you said, much like humans, if we spent an entire year with a significant other, we might have separation anxiety. We might be relieved. We don't really know um, <laughs> <laughs> to get out of the house. But no, so the exercise is is really key here. What about socializing with other animals? How important is that other other dogs? It's very important. Uh, they're, they're social species. They, they want to be around their own kind. Uh, it's very important. However, uh, who they socialize with matters. So the whole idea, I mean, I can't tell you how many dogs I've had to rehabilitate and the owner comes in and says, uh, I've been socializing, you know, this this baby since she was 12 weeks old. Great, but around dogs that maybe aren't uh, balanced, mm -hmm. around dogs who are maybe rude socially, around dogs who are maybe hyperactive or anxious or nervous or insecure or aggressive. And so what you've really done is taught your dog that when you leave the home, there's a chance that you're going to uh, put them in an environment that, that overwhelms them, mm -hmm. right? So what we do is we socialize with all ages, all sizes, all energy types, but they're all balanced. Very nice. And that's what helps uh, create a more balanced social dog. Well, I appreciate you doling out free advice to our viewers because I know, listen, you have a business, you do this professionally. There are some people watching who simply can't afford the services that you offer. They're looking to do it themselves and you give us hope that we, that we can do it ourselves. 
Um, Absolutely. Give us an update quickly before we go. How is Fancy doing right now? Fancy's doing well. She's uh, unbelievable when she's with Uncle Brad. <laughs> Um, Uncle Brad. Mom is doing a good job. Uh, she's, you know, exercising her regularly. She's using the crate, uh, but she has texted me and let me know that she slipped up here and mm -hmm. there and is, is struggling with some things. You know, Cameron has a hard time, as a lot of us do, uh, controlling the excitement whenever we get around our babies, you know, and uh, with fancy, it kind of sends her to another level. And so you end up kind of dealing with a, a pretty crazy Pomeranian running around but uh, she's an unbelievable dog, super smart, super sweet, and in a really good place. All right, well, thank you, Brad, and fancy, don't let us down. Um, you can check out <laughs> beveldogbehavior.com. Thank you, Brad, and Instagram, beveldogbehavior as well. Want to let you know as well that Brad is on our show here on CW, To the Rescue on Saturday mornings. It is a phenomenal show about rescues and the journey they take to find their forever home. Really, really a great show. Check that out on Saturday mornings.